Hello wonderful people, you're welcome to this video. Today let's see how to reset our password and also how to get our username in case we forget it on Kali Linux. This could happen to anyone, you could forget your username and your password. This is not what we can reset online as most of the time you don't need internet to work with Kali Linux except when you want to do some upgrade. I just want to use my second PC. I discovered that I don't know the login details again. So I'll be showing you how to retrieve the username and how to change the password. The username is something you can see, but because we can't see the password, we have to get a new password. I will also show you how to change password for a particular user in case you have more than one user. So the first thing I need to do is uh, try to reboot my system. So I can look for reboots, which I can find here. So I say restart. And if you look at this place, I want to click the restart. So before this time finishes, I'm going to hit the up or down arrow to stop it from booting. If the countdown gets to zero, it's going to boot my Kalinos and I won't achieve what I want to do. What I want to do now is that I want to edit. So now that I have been able to press the down or up arrow, I have to select one of these, which is Kali GNU forward slash Linux. So on selecting that, I don't have to hit enter. I have to press E on the keyboard while highlighting Kali GNU forward slash Linux. And now I'm in the edit mode. So I'm going to move down my insertion point as you can see it. So I have to move down until I get to Linux, which you can see here. This is the Linux. Then I have to use the forward arrow to move. And I have to move from this line to the second line. So I continue moving. And here I have RO. I have to move a space further. Then I use my backspace to delete that O. Now I'm going to replace that O with a W. So before it was on RO, read only, but now it's on read write. Then after that, I still move ahead. This is quiet splash. In your own case, you could have single there, but it doesn't matter what is there. Then I create a space. Then there, I'm going to type this init equals sign forward slash bin. I made a mistake there. So bin forward slash bash. I'm going to put this code somewhere where you can find it. So at this junction, I'm not going to hit enter. I'll just hold control and X on the keyboard. And here I'm on root. So the first thing I'm going to do is to check for my username. So to do that, I'm going to type this code. G R E P space, then slash or minus on the keypad, then I then space, then double quotation, backslash, B, dollar sign, backslash again, B, and I close the quotation mark. Then I leave a space again, forward slash, ETC, forward slash, shadow. Then I make sure everything is correct because just one mistake there can ruin everything. So at the end of that, I'll say enter. And if you look very well, this is my username, Asus Hacker. So that one is, is clear now. So I'm going to write it down. So the next thing is for me to change my password. So there are two ways to do this. I can easily type this 
P A W S W D. If you check very well, that is not the correct spelling of password. So be careful. So I can type this now and uh, hit enter and I'll be asked to type a new password. Then secondly, I could type password, then type the username that I want to change the password. But let's take it one after the other. So let's start from the beginning. I want to change my password. So I type password without the O R, then I'll say enter. So it's asking me for a new password. So I'm going to impute a new password. So let me type my password. I'm going to hit enter. And bear it in mind, you don't get to see the password while you type because passwords are not meant to be seen. But believe it, it's in there. So I hit enter. So it's asking me to retype. That means the first one is there. So I'm going to retype. And I hit enter again. And it says password updated successfully. So this is okay. Now imagine I wanted to do it the second method. Or if it happens that you have more than one username on Kali. And you want to change the password for a particular user. All you have to do is type password space. Then you type the user you want to change the password. For example, Asus Hacker. And you hit enter. So it's going to ask you for a new password. So let me insert a new password. And again, you don't get to see the password displayed on your screen, but it's in there. So I hit enter. Then I'm going to retype the password again. Bear it in mind that if you make mistake here, it's not going to take it. For example, I want to make the first and the second password not the same. So you're going to see what's going to happen. So uh, this is the, I've imputed the right password, but I'm going to put a letter that's going to make the second password different from the first one. So let me just hit that letter now. So let me hit say enter and look at what it says. The sorry password do not match authentication token manipulation error password unchanged. So that means the new password and the retype password, they are not the same. So now I'm going to change the password now. So I hit the arrow of button and my last impute is out. So I'm going to say, I'm going to hit enter new password. Then I'm going to type and I say enter, then retype the password and I'm going to say enter. And now password updated successfully. So that is the two ways to change password on Kali Linux. So now that I've successfully changed the password, the next thing I can do is to reboot Kali Linux. And we're going to do it right from here. I'm going to type reboot space dash or minus then F. Then I'm going to hit enter. And, um, and that is a uh, Kali Linux rebooting. So let me impute the username and the password now and see if everything works out the way we expected. So Asus Hacker. Then I go to the password field and I type my password and I hit enter or I say login. And that's it. We are inside Kali Linux. So this is better than 
deleting your installation and doing a new installation because actually installing Kalinux takes some time so it's not what you would like to go through every time you have issue with your username and password so that is that about resetting Kali Linux password and how to find the username so if you like this kind of content subscribe and in the comment section tell me the kind of video you want to see next if you want to learn cyber security ethical hacking bug bounty mobile penetration testing and web application penetration testing subscribe to this channel and tell me what you want to see next time and i will go through your comment and i'll try to make a video on that this is where i will stop this video for today i will see you on the next one